All right, so I decided to go ahead and trim this lip off that was around here. I took a Sharpie and marked it so I knew where the edge was, and then I cut it right along the edge. I do need to go around and sand it, and then basically taking cut right along here and remove these so they're flush. And as you can tell, I already cut that one out. Basically what I did was I took the X-Acto knife and ran it right down the edge. Sorry if it's so dark. Right down the edge here at the angle of these parts here. And then right along the top here. And then basically at the angle here. Alright, so I have all the pieces cut out here, as you can see. A little bit of trimming on the inside because there was a little bit of, like, over here, there was a little bit of plastic sticking out that I had to trim off. Now to sit, take and sand these all smooth, and then... Take all my pieces here, and my plan is to basically take, oops, sorry, these, ah. and reattach them, but flush mount it. So rather than sticking out like this, they're going to be flush. And we'll have to do some modifications and sanding and stuff like that, but that'll make it a lot easier. And with all these pieces still having the inside bits to them, I should be able to still use the hard hat inside. Which I don't know if I'm going to do or not, but this is a just-in-case. But that's kind of... Will make my life a lot easier, I think. I don't know yet. To have these all nice and flush. Because I still got to sand like this edge here. Then have, mount this in here so it's nice and flush and fiberglass over the top of it by the time I'm done you probably sh shouldn't be able to tell but I don't know how much this is going to you know like that right there for example is going to affect the inside wearing of it. So what I'll probably do is tape can tape this outside edge, do a test fit to see if that would even work and fit on my head before I take and do anything else. It's 
smart idea. I just had that. What I'm thinking is, I don't know yet. This is an idea. I really don't know. I'm thinking about painting, the, having the final end design, having the like bone white, so it looks like a really thin bone setting on here. I think that'd be kind of cool looking. But I don't know. And one of the things is back here. This is two different heights here between right here and right here. So I might have to modify these pieces a little bit to take and get that alignment. And yes, the um, stripe here, if you notice, is a center line. And the way it's marked this edge over here, like flush against right here, is the middle, not the line itself. So the actual center line is on this side, like up to right here. And yes, that is intentional. So... I got these pieces taped up here and did a test fit to see if it would work. And these pieces here rub against my ears and head. So that's a no. Which means I'm basically going to now have to... Yeah, cut this this part off here so it's just the face of this which is okay it's just more of a inconvenience you know let me have to take cut this edge off here all the way around each one of these pieces and then remounting these pieces back in here once i clean this up and with fiberglass and epoxy. But that's where I'm at today. I was just wondering if I could do it. I did it. And now I know. And it won't work. So I'm glad I did a test fit rather than moving on. And yes, I have this little bitty electrical tape. It's like a uh, half an inch wide. And that's what I use. All right. All right. So I cut out the flanges, as you can see over there. I uh, started trimming them down, sanding them. But I noticed this little area right here flares out. Starting over here and ending over here. So I'm going to have to take a heat gun and try to bend this area here down smooth so it matches the rest of this. You can really tell it when you look right there. Because that, it needs to be straight. So what I did was I cut out the two notches right here on the corner seam of this piece here. So I could bend this down smooth. And it would match. All right, so as you can see, my little work table here, 
I was applying some fiberglass and resin to my helmet because after cutting out the parts and then sanding them down so they're nice and flat I need to re then reinstall them and everything but this part here worked out quite well it wasn't as trimmed as it needed to be but now we need to go put it in the sun and let it dry and once it's all dry then i can sand it and start working on the other parts It also helps that I marked these so I know exactly the placement of them. And yes, I will have to take and cut this excess fiberglass off, but that's okay. 